When it comes to savings, there's no denying that the emergency fund gets all the glory. But there's a lesser known fund that's also important, a sinking fund. In fact, if you have an emergency fund, but still find yourself struggling with your finances, it could be because you haven't set up a sinking fund. In this video, let's explore exactly what a sinking fund does, why you need to add one to your budget, and how to create one. Hey everyone, this is Andy Hill from Marriage, Kids, and Money, a channel dedicated to helping you strengthen your family tree and live financially free. If you like what you hear today, please consider giving me the YouTube triple thanks. That's hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, and then commenting down below. Also, note that all the links to the resources mentioned in today's video will be in the description. Thanks. Okay, what is a sinking fund? A sinking fund is a fund of money that you intend to spend on a particular need or want at some point in the future. These expenses happen only occasionally or sometimes just once. Think of that vacation that you've just started daydreaming about or the inevitable car repair. These aren't monthly expenses that you typically budget for and they aren't emergencies, no matter how badly your mind is telling you that you need a beach vacation, sorry. <laughs> These are occasional expenses, which is why you need a sinking fund. Sinking funds are critical because they allow us to live and enjoy life without throwing a wrench into our finances. To help you see exactly why you need a sinking fund, imagine this scenario. It's been a whirlwind of a year, including a big switch in jobs. Believe it or not, the holidays are right around the corner and you know that you need to kick your shopping into high gear. So what do you do? If you're like many Americans, you unfortunately go into credit card debt to solve the problem. You might also try to cover the cost with December's budget, but that could be a squeeze for you. Or maybe you pull from your emergency fund, even though poor planning definitely is not an emergency. There has to be a better way, right? Enter the sinking fund. By creating one or more sinking funds, you can prepare your finances for different expenses you will encounter throughout the entire year. By making small deposits on a schedule that works for you, you can grow your short-term savings to cover the cost without debt. Let's be honest, life is expensive and unpredictable, right? That can be a recipe for disaster when it comes to budgeting. Luckily, setting up sinking funds for irregular expenses can help certain spending sting a little bit less. Some sinking funds people could include are car maintenance, medical and dental co-pays, property taxes, pet care. In the case of both humans and animals in your household, there are bound to be medical expenses, right? You just don't know when they're gonna strike. By setting up a sinking fund, you can stress less about your money when you're sitting in the waiting room of the urgent care or the vet office. To determine what other sinking funds might help with irregular expenses, look at housing and transportation costs as well as other essential expenses. Just like people shouldn't be all work and no play, your money needs to have some fun as well. That's why sinking funds might also include vacations, home renovations, concert tickets, personally I'm pumped for the killers this fall, birthdays and holidays, charitable giving. By creating one or more of these sinking funds, you can start saving now. That way, when an awesome opportunity to give back shows up, you can say yes wholeheartedly. Now that you understand what a sinking fund is and why they're so important, let's talk about how to create a sinking fund. Number one, decide where you're going to keep your money. Some people choose to open a high interest savings account that features sub accounts, sometimes called envelopes or buckets that you can actually name. Other people prefer to open several separate savings accounts and some people work best with a traditional spreadsheet. In that case, you keep all your money stashed in a single savings account and simply earmark portions of it into sinking funds using Google Sheets or Excel. Personally, I'm a fan of the savings bucket strategy, but this is all up to you. Whatever you choose to do, this whole sinking fund process is a whole lot easier when you're using a budget. Personal Capital has a suite of free tools, including a budget tracker that can help you understand what's coming in and what's going out. They also have free tools for tracking your investments as well. Check out Personal Capital's free tools in the link in my description. Number 
Number two, ballpark the expense. After you know where you want to stash your cash, it's time to figure out how to fill up that account. For this example, let's choose new tires for your car. After your last oil change and tire rotation, you and your mechanic both agreed that your tires are starting to show a lot of wear. A bit of research online reveals that $600 is a reasonable estimate for what these tires will set you back over the next couple of months. Number three, crunch the numbers. You can do an online search for sinking fund calculators or you can do the math yourself. So if you estimate that those new tires are gonna cost you 600 bucks and you expect to replace them in the next six months, you can divide the expense by the number of months to see what you need to set aside each month. In this case, you should add $100 a month or $50 from your bi-weekly paychecks to your sinking fund. Number four, spend without worry. Once your sinking fund is full, you can spend the money without worrying about busting your budget or derailing your financial plans. Just make sure that once the money is spent, you start to rebuild your sinking fund or create a new one for your next short-term savings goal. In the end, when it comes to finances, people often think of emergency funds as the one account that can really rescue their money. Emergency funds are absolutely crucial, of course, but if you have one and still struggle with your finances, it could be because you haven't created any sinking funds. Sinking funds cover occasional essential expenses, such as a car maintenance or vet visits. They can also help you say yes to more optional exciting expenses that come your way, including concerts and vacations. Plan ahead by setting up your first sinking fund today. Whether you want to splurge on a much needed vacation or know there's an equal equally important car repair in your future, your sinking fund has those costs covered. To make the process easier with a budget, check out Personal Capital's free budgeting tool. Millions of people use Personal Capital's free and secure online financial tools to see all of their accounts in one place. They can also analyze their spending and saving and plan for long-term goals like buying a house or saving for retirement. Goals like those are essentially gigantic sinking funds. <laughs> Enough from our side, everyone. We want to hear from you. What do you think of using sinking funds to support your lifestyle? Have you found yourself constantly pulling from that emergency fund to get by? Please let us know in the comments below. This is Andy Hill from Marriage, Kids, and Money, signing off. Carpe diem.